up guys how do you do welcome to today's edition of program users tv so we are continuing with this live course whereby we've been covering room live data as well as performing the CRUD operations so in this particular class it's now time that we come over to our adapter okay so what is the adapter's responsibility well of course the adapter will work hand in hand with this scientist activity in fact after covering this adapter we're going to move over to our scientist activity okay now we've been covering the view part of the mvvm remember we're using the mvvm technique or the mvvm design pattern to construct this app so m stands for the model we've already looked at our model which is our data layer then the v is the view and then the vm is the view model so we've looked at the m we've looked at the vm and now we are looking at the view okay so so far we've covered some views like the crowd activity now in this part we are now going to look at of course the activity for reading our data or loading our data this is the scientist activity but before looking at the scientist activity we're going to look at the adapter now why the adapter well it's the adapter that will be responsible for actually binding our data okay so once the data has been loaded that data needs to be bound of course to a recycler view that recycler view is going to contain custom views so the adapter will be responsible first for inflating these custom views into our recycler view for of course it will also work hand in hand with the view holder which will hold those particular views for recycling and then it will also be responsible for binding our data so we need the adapter because as you can see right here there is no one recycler view okay which you can get that will be able to give you exactly this type of a view with the material letter icon and three text boxes with these colors right here so what we need to do is that we need to create a custom layout now that layout that we create will then need to inflate it all these operations will take place in the adapter okay so the adapter is very important its role basically is to inflate of course these custom views and also to bind our data right here it will also work hand in hand as you said with the view holder which will hold these particular views for recycling okay so as we scroll through our recycler view these widgets are being recycled instead of being inflated every time they are in fact we only inflate one like for example this one and then we reuse it okay so this makes of course our recycler view very snappy and very fast guys we're going to cover the adapter let's proceed this first and foremost i require you to go of course into a layout and create a layout called the model.xml you'll be able to find the source code of course in our website you can see we have this round letter icon then we have this is the design view let's look at the xml at the root we're going to have the android x okay the card view right here then inside it we have a relative layout inside that relative layout we have a material letter icon to the left to the right at the top we have the name txt which will show the scientist name description below the name will show the description while to the far right next to the name will be our galaxy okay so this is the model layout let's now move over to our adapter code so if we click this view all you can see that we have this recycler view so recycler view of course as you can see it contains several view items this one right here for example for this scientist this is one view item this is another so every single view item you can see they're using the same model or the same layout structure this layout structure as you can see have this round material letter icon then the name then of course the description then of course the galaxy okay so this is what we are constructing using our model layout we're basically modeling a simple view item for our recycler view then the recycler view will use that view item of course to load all our rows okay yeah so this is it it will apply it in all the rows right here so that's the model there thus far we've actually looked at our remember we we're covering an mvvm tutorial right here 
we drive data and room okay and we started by looking at the common reader which of course contains our utils the java we also looked at the app in that section then we went over and looked at our data so data comprised of the model the repository as well as the DAO data access object now after that one we looked at our view model okay now it's now time for us to enter the final part which of course is our views now in this view section we've divided into two the user interface ui okay which will contain our activities and also the adapter which is the adapter for our recycler view so let's start with the adapter this adapter right here create a java file my adapter the java make sure your package name is specified and then we start so import dot content dot context import android dot retail dot typed value import android dot view dot layout in footer import android dot view dot view import android dot view dot view group import android dot widget dot text view then import android x dot annotation dot non null import android x dot recycler view dot widget the recycler view then import com dot github okay then material letter icon then import java dot util dot array list then import java dot util dot list then java dot util dot random then of course we put our custom classes as well so that is our scientist then our utils then our detail activity then public class my adapter extends recycler view dot adapter my adapter dot view holder then private final context c private final int m background private final int array material letter icons then private final list of scientists okay so what have we done well first we started by specifying our imports okay among those imports you can see we have our recycler view from android x with recycler view dot widget package i said earlier on that we'll be using android x okay yeah then we've come right here and then we've extended the recycler view dot adapter now extending this dot adapter okay requires us to pass the view holder the view holder is the class which should hold our views for recycling recycler view will be recycling widgets or views okay with that which is actually what makes it efficient however we have to supply a class which will hold the those views that need to be recycled in this case we are calling that class my view holder and what this statement says is that that view holder class will be contained inside this my adapter is going to be an inner class so let's come create it public class view holder extends recycler view dot view holder implements view dot on click listener then private final text view name txt private final text view description txt private final text view galaxy txt private final material letter icon m icon then private item click listener item click listener then view holder view item view then super item view then m icon equal to item view dot find view by id or dot id dot material letter icon item view dot find view by id r dot id dot name txt item view dot find view by id r dot id dot description then r dot id dot galaxy txt then set on click listener this then a true read public void on click view view this dot item click listener dot on item click this did get loud position set item click listener 
item click clicks now this data item click clicks now equal to item click clicks now so what we've done right here is very simple we've just created a view holder class we said the its role is to hold the widgets which need to be recycled and in this case these are those widgets okay so it's going to hold them these are view holder class for it to be a view holder class it has to extend the view holder from our recycler view class then we've implemented the on click listener which will force us to override the on click method now in that on click method we had created this item click listener right here okay which is a custom interface that we're going to create shortly all we are doing is that we are receiving its instance and then setting it to the local one and then of course we're going to listen okay and then we create another method of course yeah okay we've already created the method set item click listener which will receive its instance and then set it to the local one and then we reference it inside this on click so this dot item click listener dot on item click we invoke this method and then pass the layout position okay this is how we're going to know the item that has been clicked in our recycler view by obtaining it from this layout position right here so that is our my view holder okay so having created it we can now proceed over with our my adapter so public my adapter context m context array list scientist then this dot c equal to m context then this the scientist equal to scientist then typed value m typed value equal to new typed value then c dot get theme dot resolve attributes r dot attributes dot selectable item background then m typed value then true then material colors equal to c dot get resources dot get interray r dot array dot colors then m background equal to m type value dot resource id then we come public view holder on create view holder at non null view group parent then int view type then view view equal to loud inflated from dot inflate then we pass those parameters then view dot set background resource m background then return new view holder v so what have we done right here first and foremost we've created our constructor okay this constructor will receive two objects a context object okay and then an array list of scientists so we assign the context and the array list to the local uh, instance fields that we have and then um, we instantiate our typed value okay and then see the get theme we use of course our context object invoke its get theme then invoke the resolve attributes then we pass of course our selectable item background right here as well as our typed value which we've just instantiated then we're doing this one of course for the sake of our material letter icon and then we come we also obtain our colors okay array of colors we have defined an array of colors if you guys remember in an earlier tutorial when we were covering of course our styles so we obtain that array and hold it in our java array right here okay now we come of course m type value the resource id then we come right here in our on create view holder this day on create view holder it's a method of overriding now it will get traced to now view holder is created and then that view holder will be returned to us now what we're doing right here is that we're inflating our model layout remember the model layout of course is the layout for a single item in our recycler view once we've inflated it we set the resultant view we set its background resource okay its background color now where is that background color well of course you can see right here m background okay now this of course will give us a random color okay that's why you guys remember in our app in the demo you could see 
of course the random colors being applied to our icons then of course we return the view holder instance public void on bind view holder at null view holder holder then int position then we get our current scientist final scientist s equal to scientist that get position then we bind data to our widgets holder dot name txt that set text s dot get name holder dot description txt that set text s dot get description then holder dot galaxy that set text s dot get galaxy then holder dot m icon that set initials true then holder dot m icon that set initials number two then holder dot m icon that set letter size twenty five then holder dot m icon that set shape color material colors new random dot next int then material colors dot length then holder dot m icon that set letters letter s dot get name then we open our detail activity when clicked holder dot set item click listener position utils dot send a scientist to activity c s and then detail activity dot class then at override public int get item count then return scientist dot size then interface item click listener then void on item click int position and that's it okay what have we done right here well we first overridden of course our on bind view holder okay so given that we are derived from our recycler view dot adapter we have to override these two methods at least three methods okay the first one on create view holder then the second is the on bind view holder and then the third is the get item count get item count will return the size of the number or the number of items that we need bound to our adapter to our recycler view okay now we also define this interface item click listener you guys remember you can remember that we had referenced this particular interface of course in our my view holder okay you can see it right here okay so yeah that is the definition of it now in the on bind view holder we are getting the current scientist then we are setting its properties okay including the icon properties right there new random dot next int will give us of course a random number okay of course we pass in the length of our material colors those are the colors that will be used then of course we listen to the click events using lambda expression when clicked we're going to open our scientist our detail activity and send the current scientist to that activity okay that's what we've done so guys this is our adapter right here okay yeah this is our adapter you'll find the source code of course in our website does it let's move over to our next class